Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the Scan Tool Network. Welcome back to another X Tool D8 video. This is pretty much the daddy of X Tool uh, diagnostic packages at the moment. Uh, we're in a 2017 Ford Focus, which has a few warning lights on the dashboard. You can see we've got the check engine light, the airbag light. ABS and traction control warning lights there as well. So I'm going to show you this tool just basically doing a quick demonstration Diagnosing and resetting these faults now this tool is available just by clicking the link directly below this video if you are Familiar with um, sort of diagnostic tools you you may well know that there are fakes There are clones on the market and it's not worth damaging your vehicle over So we'd highly recommend going with the genuine and official products which you will find in the description below this video so um, what we'll do first of all we'll go into diagnosis and we'll go to Europe so we can select our Ford manufacturer and it's just basically you can manually select your vehicle or you can do an automatic detection which is a lot quicker automatically finds the vehicle and then you can go straight into the system selection option so that this allows you to then start diagnosing the vehicle and it gives you a list of systems that I can diagnose so first of all we'll do the check engine we'll go to powertrain control module read control uh, read read trouble code should I say and then we'll retrieve continuous memory diagnostic trouble code so this sometimes can take a couple of seconds just to connect and it's giving us here the fault code straight away P0353 ignition coil C primary control circuit now um, if you're not really sort of a professional and you don't really know where to go with that information then uh, Google is your friend basically just copy this information into Google and if you're having this fault somebody else will have the fault as well so it, it the answer will be there the, the it'll have been a fault like this, I can guarantee, will have been discussed on lots of forums and lots of internet pages as well, so uh, that wouldn't be a problem. Now, to get rid of the fault, we we'll just go back, um, we can go to clear trouble code. Now, keep an eye on the check engine light when I do this. And there we go, check engine light is gone, Arrayed code, erased, code erased successfully. So we then come back to the main systems. Uh, we can then go into the ABS, sorry, the airbag, the string control module, read trouble code, it's the exact same process really. This sometimes does like a little component self-checking process. Um, we're currently going into the airbag system, but the ABS lights have been flashing there as well. Not sure why, but these tools have their little quirks. Um, there we go. So, X tool deployment control of right side airbag, um, and it's giving us the fault code there. Again, if you're not sure, go to Google, it'll tell you where the problem is or what the fault is. Same again, clear trouble code, keep an eye on the airbag light when I do this. The airbag light is gone. And it's all hunky dory until we get to the ABS system. We've set this up a little bit differently. So, uh, what we've done is we've unclipped a rear right ABS sensor uh, to first of all see if it can read the trouble code correctly, which I've no doubt that it won't. There we go. Rear right wheel speed sensor. So, it's found that code perfectly clear. What we did is we unclipped it, then we've left it unclipped. So, that's what's created the fault here. Now, what we can do is, I'm going to show you what will happen if you try to erase a fault code or erase a warning light when the fault hasn't actually been fixed. So, if we go to clear trouble code, and it's telling us the codes have been successfully erased, but the warning lights are still on the dashboard. Why is that? Well, the tool can only do so much. The tool can only send the information to the ECU to say, okay, we think we've fixed this fault. We want to try and get rid of the warning lights and get rid of the fault codes. On the other side of that, we've got the ECU or the, the module, the airbag module saying, okay, I'm going to do a quick check. And once it realizes that the connection is still open, the fault hasn't been fixed, it's basically going to say, no, I'm not turning these warning lights on. I'm going to keep uh, off. I'm going to keep them on. And we're going to keep the trouble code in the memory bank because the fault is still present. So if we go back to read trouble code, you'll see that the fault is still there despite seconds earlier just having tried to reset that. So that's how that works. Um, very, very rarely will it actually work, will it turn off if you haven't actually fixed a fault. The only circumstances that it would turn off if you haven't fixed anything is that, say for example you had an intermittent fault, which is generally probably more likely to be seen in the engine system, so like you had like a, an ignition coil which gave like a little faulty reading uh, for like one or two trips and then it's sort of corrected itself or it's, it's not doing it all the time. Uh, if you catch it in a moment where it's not producing that fault, then you will be able to turn it off. 
Um, but again, it's, it's it, only if it's an intermittent fault, but we'd recommend obviously just doing the right thing and getting it repaired because then you won't have to keep dealing with it. Okay, now as I said earlier, um, obviously I'll just show you this quickly as well. It does a lot of uh, special functions, service functions, DPF regeneration, injector coding, ABS brake bleeding, oil resets, throttle calibrations, electronic parking brakes, steering angle sensors. There's a lot of special functions on this as well. So um, if you are interested though, as I say, just make sure you use the link in the description below this video because the lot fakes, the lot clones, they can and will damage your vehicle. It's not worth going down that route to save a couple of hundred pounds when you're, when you're using it on a car or several cars, which could be worth, I don't know, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40,000 pounds. All right, thanks for watching and I hope this helps.